the other facilities that I've seen, these conveyors are inside a full culvert. That's and it and it's got this be. negative vacuum on it, so it, it sucks the I dust right off the of it before it's vacuum. exposed to air. Well, we've got a half cul we have a half culvert on top of it, and the sides and the bottom are exposed. So even when the wind's blowing, the wind sucks it out of the top. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, we all know that. I mean, if you throw ash behind something, it's going to blow away. This is the tower they're talking about in closing. What's always infuriated me. Look under this conveyor back there, see the cone-shaped piles? Yeah. That, everywhere there's a junction in the conveyor, that's what happens. It, it collects under the juncture. Swear to God, it will sit there until it blows or washes away. And it's just, it's idiotic. And you see this, this huge, it's like a wall hanging from the angle iron there. That's just to keep the coal dust from going in their office. Seeing layers of uh, coal dust, strata. Go ahead. This recycling site was just designed and placed perfectly to collect coal dust. So by that I mean it's open facing south. So when the north wind blows, there's this eddy effect that makes that blows coal dust back in here and it collects. So with the white tank, it makes it really easy to see. In here, I started writing, writing the date on it, and then taking a picture so you can see as the dust covers it back up. Well, there's always, always dust flying off of it. None of it's covered or enclosed all the way, so there's always some dust escaping. And generally, you can just watch the, the ground get dirty, the snow get dirty, the further, further it comes away. This is coal dust, this is road dust off of a vehicle. So it's very obvious, it's gray and it's black. There's quite a distinction between the two. I mean, they just, they have to use all the best available technology. They must. And that's, that's what this whole process is and that's what's so frustrating is, like I've told everybody here, we don't have half of what we started out with in 1985, but yet they tell us everything's fine at the same time that they're expanding and, and increasing the volume. Yeah, so the barn on this side is where the coal cars pull in and they unload them. They unload them a couple at a time, and then it goes underground, belly dump cars, goes under the, back under the rails, up conveyors to the stacker reclaimer, which can either deposit it on the stockpiles or put it on the conveyor out to the ship. So they build up the stockpiles, which don't quite fill a ship, so they have to have trains coming in addition. But it just it couldn't be more ill-suited for its location. It's directly downwind and inside our community. Yeah, it's just a real bummer to develop this property di directly downwind of the coal facility without having that coal dust contained. And obviously the coal dust is falling into the snow at the same time that they're collecting it and going and dumping it in the bay. Well, where they're putting it right there on the Black Beach, it's actually intertidal zone. So when the water comes up, it's gonna float all that dirty snow away and melt it, which is a drag which is a drag. We should take better care of our community. And since 2007, when the coal dust first became a problem, this was all in response to citizen complaints. We've been trying to answer a couple basic questions. And those two questions are how much coal dust are folks exposed to and is this unhealthy? And understanding an often invisible concern is really a challenge as everybody in this room knows. And it was really cool when the city and the state and the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium came together and developed an ambient air project here in Seward. That's what these are for, is to get some numbers. Not to shut down the facility. We want, um, we want the coal dust out of our lungs. We want clean air. So whatever it takes for, um, you know, for them to put in, you know, the bag houses, the filters, the covers, the, all that kind of stuff. Like we just want them to clean up their mess. State of the art. We want state of the art controls. We deserve state of the art controls. Yeah, we want to be protected from their toxic mess. You know, there might be a way for both of us to be a winner. The community and the oh, coal sure, company. Sure.